Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at BF Designs. And it is my acrylic pouring Sunday. But first, I'm going to unmold some of the uh, um, coasters I made, testing the different whites. So it's kind of resin. Oops, 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 oops. You make more statements. I didn't have my volume off. And I got an ad to skip. $5 Sorry about that. And there we go. And hello, Melissa. I see you and I here, so I'm going to wait just a couple minutes. I will show you the new cup I got from a viewer. I did trim these a little bit because I wanted it to be able to see thunder because this is a big cup and there's positive candor hail positive candor and I'm not sure if my camera's facing right so hang on one second okay got to turn it just a hair Sorry about that, y'all. Thought I had checked it before before I um came in here. And hello, Sally. Okay, well, let me get to the unmolding first before I do the acrylic pouring. Uh, Tuesday night, I made some, um, I tested different whites in the clear for ocean waves. Okay, I've made these um, with sand before and the waves, but I wanted to see how, besides the casting craft, I wanted to see how a paste works, an alcohol ink, and an acrylic ink. So, and hello, Jan, and hello, Elisa, and Tater, and Zoe. Hi, guys. Okay, so let's let's do let's do the two that are probably light. So yeah, I gotta trim a little bit around the edge. These are just coast uh, little coasters with sides. So I hope the people who wanted to see this are here. This is oh, that looks pretty. This is the acrylic ink. That one turned out pretty good. I'm not sure how much glare you're getting. Because I got a lag, so I don't know where the glare is at. This is the one with the alcohol ink. And it turned out, it looked pretty light. So let's see how it does with the background of the green and blue behind it. Well, I like this one, too. Definitely different effects between alcohol inks and acrylic inks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, just looking to see if I missed anybody. I did say hello to Jan. Jan, I'm glad to see you here today. Okay, this one was done with the uh, uh, Just Resin Titanium Paste. And hello, Petra. So this one, you never want to unmold them too fast or you might tear your mold. So that's why I'm going a little slow. This one is pretty thick, as you can see. And hello, Gina Bina. And this one is the paste. Um, I've got a... I like it, but I got to get a little bit better about the stuff that drops to the bottom, which is, you know, this when it's this way. But I like it. Okay, this one is done with the good old casting craft like everybody else is using in here. Did I say hello? Oh, hello, Gina Bina. Our favorite Gina's here. And I said, I know I said hello to Petra. Uh, let me see. Did I say hello to Positive Candor? Hi, PC. <laughs> Sorry. 
I didn't remember if I said hello to him or not. Okay. Come on. Okay. Of course, this one's going to fight me. Okay, and this one is the good old standby of the casting craft that everybody uses. So, now you know if you're going to do beaches or flowers, because people do, this is where I got this, for, oops, I got a little par problem with the sand right here. Um, people use this method to do beaches. Well, I do beaches, other people do flowers, so... This is casting craft. This one is just resin, which is a, a, a resin paste. Thank you, Melissa. This one was the alcohol inks, which it turns out wispier. I like that. And then this one was the acrylic inks, which is a little bit darker, but still wispier. And I had some sand and some white left over, so I made myself a little um, geo cluster, geo point cluster. Okay, so I'll bring them back later for people who are not here yet and missed it. But, and hello, Angela. And hi, Monica. Let me put these guys away. Okay. So now, we're going to get down to the business of acrylics. Let me grab a canvas. This is my makeshift puppy pool. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. And... I don't have any paint on there yet, so let me put a little bit of tape underneath it so my canvas don't go flying. Oh. Need it right over by the edge. Yeah, I got a little bit of paint already on it. Let me see. Does that spin? Yep, that spins. And yes, it's in the middle. Okay. This is not the cup that Fiona uses. A uh, very, very dear viewer of mine. Uh, she's not here yet. Um, Dina's design. She sent me a couple of these. So, oops, I got to put white down first. Ha! Huh. I'm going to try a bottle bottom pour. Thank you, guys. I, I love those. I love those. Um, those. Um, um, ocean pours. Okay. I got my Artist Loft White here. And I'm just going to coat my canvas. Try not to take too long. And you always want your base coat to be for these, at least. I'm not sure if I can, what other things uh what other techniques you want to do but you want your base coat to be just a little bit thinner and i hope nobody laughs at my makeshift puppy pool i didn't have a uh i did not have a um um a puppy pool so i just took uh my um washing washing machine tub that I use and I just made some sides and lined it with these uh well these are not puppy pads these are these are um um adult pads because they're they're bigger and I like them and I got some for free so And let me uh, wipe this off before the t paint um, cakes on here. 
Ah, go go grab that kettle. Okay, there you go, Dan. Yeah, this takes a little bit. I'm just cleaning off my spatula. Oxo spatula, it's an omelet turner, which makes it pretty big. And it works great for um for putting your um for putting your um base coat down or smoothing it out. Okay. Okay, I put tape under there and it's still not sticking right. So you know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to put some paint down. Nope, that still didn't work, okay. I'm just putting a little dollop of paint underneath the edge to help it stick. Yeah, now it sticks better. Just trying to smooth it out. Because I am going to do the bottle bottom pour and I am going to spin it. Because I want to see if that turns out better. Well, okay. Thank you so much, Elisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Every little bit that um, in donations helps support the channel, helps me creating videos for you guys. Ah, it looks like it's in the middle. Okay, I got some new colors I mixed. I have got Montmartre Magenta, which I'm getting paint all over it. I'm going to do that. And then I've got uh, dropping it, of course. Okay, where'd you go? I lost my bottle of paint. Thank God it wasn't open, huh? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> it fell down in between the table and a cabinet. I got a Montmartre Viridian. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum Metallic White Pearl. And I think... I think I'm going to put some Dioxazine Purple in between them. So... And I think I'm going to start with this first. Yes, they are creamy, okay? Now, I don't know how long it's going to take for it to get down to the bottom. So, on the first go around. So, because this is rather big. It's... Okay, well, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I decided to do these colors. Okay, I'm having problems right here with these two sides. With the paint getting over the little lip of the... There we go. Okay. This is Rust-Oleum White Pearl. Um, I don't know if I got a link down in the description or not. <laughs> oh, the editing never ends, does it, Elisa? Okay, now this is the Dioxazine Purple. I'm pretty sure, hang on a second, I'll look at the label, because I put labels on all my colors. Yep, this is Grumbacher. Okay. Now I'm going to do... Yep, this Rust-Oleum seems to be a little thinner than the rest of them. I'm noticing I have to put more up here because it's a bigger area than I'm trying to pour onto. to. 
so okay ah so is everybody here for a giveaway i am going to give away a painting And after I do two of these, if you got, because I'm going to do one with this cup, and I'm going to do one with a, uh, with a, with the smaller cup like Fiona uses, just to see how it works. Okay, I got to sit down. This kit. Killing me trying to bend over this. Okay. I'm going to do one more layer of these colors. Something is, it must be, it must be my Rust Oleum is thin. I didn't put enough of this down. There we go, that looks better. With this cup being so big compared to the other one, it's hard to judge. It is hot in here, by the way, too, people. Um, it, um, oh, purple next. Um, I had a neighbor mowing a lawn, so I had to shut my window. But I can't turn my air conditioner back on because we can't run our air conditioners after Labor Day. That's because we don't pay electricity here and they don't want us running it year round for free. Okay, some green. I need a little bit more over here. Okay, I'm not going to get my nappy head in the way like um, um, Kathleen calls it. I just want to blow a little bit off. Okay, and of course, I cannot find my skewer. So, oh, there it is. Huh, it's hiding over here. And I need a napkin. Clean off the skewer. Ooh, look at the cells I'm getting right there. There's something in this Rust-Oleum um, metallic paint that is just, I don't know, there's something, oops. Gotta be careful with the, um, there's a lip on the, um, where the paint's been falling, so I gotta be careful and not dry, put this on the lip. Hello, Mark! Nice to see you, buddy. Mark is one of my painting friends in Germany. And he just did a premiere this morning. Uh, I just loved it. Okay, now, this is not going to be easy because this cup is flimsy. Ah. Uh. There we go. Okay, that's about as good as I'm going to get that. Now I'm going to do one more layer of the colors. So I'm going to start with the white pearl because I ended with a other color on it. And then I'm going to do my magenta. You know German. Well, Jan, I should know German too because I was born there, but I never learned it because I left there when I was uh, four years old or three years old. No, two years old. And then I went back 
when I was um, uh, four years old, but then left before I turned six. My dad was in the military. I am an army brat. What did it? Oh, I was looking to see why Jan said, uh, yay, Elisa. Okay, and now some green. Okay, now I do want to cap these because I do want to move them. Oh. And then I'm going to go get a wet napkin. I think I've been putting too much water on my napkin, so I'm going to try it with a smaller spritzer. Okay, let me let that sit while I take off these gloves because they've already got paint on them and I don't want to get paint on the napkins. So I switched to this little tiny, tiny mister bottle to see if maybe I can not, okay, can't get, there we go. See if maybe I can get it to where I don't put a whole lot of water on there. Because I think that was one of my problems. Okay, let me real quick, where'd my straw go? Let me blow off this paint. And very carefully, <laughs> I'm going to use my skewer again. This is not easy to lift up. Okay, let's put that over there. Real quick, I'm going to do a couple of these. And I am going to do a Fiona trick. I am going to pull a little bit of the color towards the center like she does. Okay. Now it is... <laughs> got paint on my hand. Now it is napkin time. It's... Ah, oh, it's just a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm putting it down in the middle very gently. And then I'm going to do this side very gently. And I'm going to give the napkin and paint some love like Fiona does. You want to be very, very gentle with it. Okay. Let's see what I can come up with. Okay. Okay. Two corners, very carefully, this corner, this corner, the middle of the side, the middle of this side, the middle of this side, in the middle of this side. Well, I didn't get a tail, okay? 
I'm happy about that. I did not get a tail. I am, I'm very pleased. That's the closest I've gotten to Fiona's stuff since I started. Okay, um, before I spin it, I'm going to add just a little bit of paint where I picked up paint with my napkin. carefully smoothing it out and getting it as close as I can to the paint without getting it in the colors I just want it there so it'll help help the paint um, roll over okay oh torch let me torch first I'm off center. I can see that. Oh, look at what that white's doing. Oops, come on. Couldn't get my um gun to shut off. Okay, let's give it a baby spin. And it's all going that way, so... Let me see if I can get the, I could use a little bit more paint right here too. Okay. But let me go the other way now. And it's still going that way. I got to pick up the whole contraption to get it to move. That was my problem of not having it in the center. This is why I'm spinning it. Oh, I was going to spin it anyway, no matter what. Should have never done that with my finger. I had colored paint on it. So let me see about putting just a little bit of this right here. My corners do not have any. Ah! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mark! Mark, you are absolutely amazing. By the way, um, I need your address because that um, that um, um, present I bought for you is going to be here this week. And I'm also going to send you a painting. Because Mar Mark has been so supportive of me. I swear, this man is... Well, I don't know if I'm going to get those corners. Don't want to tilt the center off to our center. But it looks like it's already very, very off-center. So, I'm like stuck with that. Although I could go this way with it now a little bit. Give it just one more little drop of paint right here. Because the, the side is bare and that's probably why it's not going off. Okay, 
There I go, knocking bottles off the table again. Okay, so let me try this one more time to get those corners covered. And that's about as good as they're going to, well, let me see. Well, okay, I love the effects in it. Let me clean my hands up a little bit so I can put some gloves on. I know, that's an oxymoron, huh? Clean my hands so I can put gloves on so I don't get more paint on my hand. I want to bring it in for a close-up. Put it off on the side. Well, I'll leave it there. You know what? I'll leave it there. Let's do a drawing, okay? Winter pays shipping, okay? Um, yes, it is the Rustoli. Here, oh, I happen to have it out because I knew I needed to mix more. Metallic accents. Um, I'm not, it's water based technology, it says, but <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly true or not. Okay. Number between, let me see, I got 12 here. Number between 1 and 50, okay. And uh, winner pays shipping, okay, except for Mark, because if he wins it, I'll just put it in with the other one I'm sending him, okay. Um, so, go ahead and pick a number between 1 and 50, and when I say stop, that's when you stop. So, go. Start typing numbers between 1 and 50, Well, I'm waiting for numbers. Lag is really, really bad here. I hate that. I'm keeping this here. There we go. There comes the numbers. I got to look at something real quick. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I had to open it real quick to make sure I had the right number. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Let me... Let me get over here. Let me get over here and get back up to the top. Okay, yep, I see who it is. Okay, so... The person who... Now, you can pick this one, or you can pick a different one, but it is my own, and she can go back up and verify, everybody can go back up and verify it, but it was number 27, and that is our own little Elisa, my one of my favorite mods, Jots Designs. Give her a round of applause. She does really, really good. So, you are the winner of a painting. You can either get this one, or you can uh, tell me some, um, I got a couple other colors that I haven't used yet. Yep, yep, you won. I am going to do one more drawing, not for a painting, but for uh, some of those cups like Fiona uses. But first, let me... Get my, shoot, how am I going to do this? I'll just put it here. I'm trying not, I'm going to bring it up for a close-up as soon as I put gloves on. Sorry, I'm not. So usually, before, I would just, um, just put the, um, Put the uh, tr whole tray in the uh, in the cabinet, 
but because I can't fit this big tray in the cabinet and I don't know if you want Viridian green well you keep you keep entering you know so do you like this one Elisa or do you want me to get some turquoise out <laughs> It's going to be a white background because I'm getting... Come on, gloves. Okay. Let me see now. Okay, I got a... I got this idea from Karen at Waterfall Acrylics to help lift up my painting. Off of here. There we go. So, before I put this little baby away, see, I love what the Rust-Oleum does to it. Turquoise, please. Okay, I've got some of the dark turquoise in the teal, which I know you love. I'm loving some of these effects. So... Let me put this little boy away, or girl, whatever you want to call it. Wipe my gloves off so I don't go getting, um, this is something else I saw Karen do. This is why I got this. I know that is a waste of paint, but these colors don't go good with turquoise. So, okay. Let me put this in the in here. Let me get another white canvas. It's going to be a white canvas this time, Elisa. Okay, I think I got that right. So, let me get the cups out. There they are. I've been using the ones that are cracked. These are just like Fiona's, exactly like hers. I ended up getting them from China. So, what I would like to do is, is... I would like to give away two cups to somebody, okay? All you got to do is pay shipping, and these are not very heavy, even though I do put them in a box. So let me put these little guys right here before I go get the paint all over my gloves. Oh, my God, I'm so blown out on that. I am so sorry. I thought my lighting was good. Okay, so I got a number. Let me, let me look at it just to make sure I remember what number it is. Okay. So, if you want to win two cups, it's going to be about five, six dollars in shipping in the States. I can't guarantee you what it's going to cost overseas. So, start picking a number between, I got 14, start picking a number between 1 and 50. And I will holler stop when the winner gets here. I'll just leave this right here. While everybody start picking numbers. This is for these cups, and I'm going to try to fix fix my lighting real quick. So go ahead and um, go ahead and start. I got to turn my white balance off. Okay, I'm coming back over real quick. Let me. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I see a winner. Let me go close out this one other window. 
I see a winner, so stop. Okay. Uh, I think I got my lighting fixed. Stop, stop, stop. Let me go back up to make sure there was not another one above her. Nope, nope, there wasn't another one. So, and this works out perfect because she's already waiting on a painting that I have not had a day to clear coat until today. So I'm varnishing the painting she won. And now our sweet Jan is going to get two cups. So congratulations, Jan. And don't, don't start crying. So I'm going to put these over to the side. If anybody wants to verify, it's number 11. And she was like about the fourth or fifth person on there. And where is, okay. I wanted to make sure I knew where my, no, oh, yes way, Jan. Yes way. Yes way. Thank you, Jots, uh, Elisa. Okay. Let me try. Um, wait a minute. I'm going to do this first. I didn't wipe it off from last time, and I should have. But this one is going to be in the turquoise for Miss Elisa. And now I expect to see you doing some of these, Jan. I just, reason I can um, give some more away is I just got another 60 in from China. Didn't take as long as I thought it would. It wasn't the slow boat to China. <laughs> okay, let me spin it to see. got to be a really thin coat. I've learned so much from Fiona about this. Uh, hello, Robin. I didn't see you come in. And I, yeah, I know I said hi to Gina Bean. I'm looking for, and I know I said hi to Angela. Okay. Give me one second while I get out my turquoises that I know she likes. Because they are in a box over here. Okay, there's my golden fallow. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These two colors together. And you want a gold with it? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming these are the ones that you want, okay? So let me put them over here. And Okay, I've got my Cronacridone uh, Nickel Azel Gold. And I also got an iridescent copper. Where is my... I thought I had a bronze. Wait, wait a minute. Is that the bronze? No, that's not Sienna. Okay. Which of these would you like with it? This one's a little goldish. And this one's iridescent copper. So, while I'm getting the cup out, I'll wait for you to put into the chat 
um, if you want the nickel azel gold or the iridescent copper in between. Not going to put any white in. What are they? There it is. Now, see, this is a smaller cup. Whoops, that's not centered. There we go. Okay. Okay, I will do the copper. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a layer of this, layer of copper. Let me put the nickel angel gold back so I don't accidentally grab it. Shake my bottles because I haven't used these yet. I'm going to do a layer of this, a layer of copper, a layer of teal, and then this. I'll, I'll just put a little copper in between each one. But I think it would be best to start with this. The first, the first layer of paint, you're putting on a little bit more than you do in the other layers because it's Got to travel a ways. Okay. Move that out of the way. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Nope. Oh. Okay. The white copper. Okay, and then the teal. Oh, hello, Darnell. Okay. Now I'm going to do the teal. Little bit of copper. The dark turquoise. The copper. This is the most boring part. Watching this paint run down the cup slowly. Or the sides of the cup, I should say. Now the copper. Uh, isn't it just fun watching paint? Slowly, slowly. I'm looking to see. Okay. Oh, she does. Okay. Um, anyway, so while I'm doing this, because I'm just alternating these dark turquoise and a teal in between, I'm going to remind everybody that um, there are um, a couple ways if you want to help support the channel. Um, uh, you can go to Ko-Fi, Ko which is below, and buy me a coffee. Or you can do a super chat, or you can go to PayPal. I'm going to leave that where it's at and do another layer. Or you can um, go to um, go down below the video. Oh, yeah, I can put a little bit of white in there. You want the pearl white? I think I'm going to... Thank you. I think I'll put the pearl white right here on top of this there we go I'm running out of places to put bottles at over here okay um and then um 
then of course I've got my memberships and right now I've got the largest foot cup pour that I ever did it was on a 16 by 20 um, and it'll be for everybody else next week well this coming week but if you were a member you would have been able to see it already because all my members well those who have found the link okay there we go now i'm gonna start over with this so that's one and be and you also get the badge behind your name like uh jan has serendipity soul fluid art with Jan, she's one of my lovely members. It's just, you know, little ways to help me make, create more art for you. Doing those waves. Oh, thank you, Darnell. Whoops. <laughs> I almost put the wrong turquoise back on there. Um, and I do have some more, um, videos coming out. Um, okay, trick copper. Um, because, um, I've been watching some more of those 3D flowers. Because I wanted to see if I could pick up some tips for my waves. So, wait a minute. So I'm um I'm uh, gonna be doing some more waves and I may do some more 3d flowers okay one more layer of this uh, one more layer of the copper One more layer of the teal. Oh! Hello, Trey! Thank you, thank you, thank you. That will buy me another tube of paint. And because I'm doing a lot of acrylic pouring. And tell tell Mrs. Mac that um, this is that same cup that she got in her package the other day. Okay. Let me put a small layer of the Rust-Oleum White Pearl. Yeah, so, um, I don't know if she's at work right now or not, but, um, she can always, uh, watch this later. Okay. Let me blow this off a little bit. Okay. Ooh! I don't have to do anything to the center. I just have to drag this out. I love that little star shape flower in the middle okay one more I am gonna do a Fiona and I am gonna try to cover up that white just a little bit there we go that's what I wanted Okay, I'm going to put my cup over here to drain. Ah! That's okay. There's a way to get rid of my drip. Oh, okay, no problem. I just want to get rid of my little drip. So I put some white there, and it covers it up and doesn't erase it, so...
I will be adding more paint um, after the napkin. Okay, dirty gloves off so I don't get it all over my napkin. Okay, I cannot see. Oh! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Elisa. Go over to my community tab um, after this. After this, wait till I'm finishing your painting to go see my big 16 by 20 um, cup, uh, split cup. that little mister there I think these things are meant for alcohol I'm not sure but I like them to do my napkin they do better than my mister mister okay okay I'm not gonna tilt it I'm gonna leave it where it's at but I am gonna put this down in the center And now I'm going to give the napkin and the paint some love, very gently. There we go. I'm not going to make it go all the way out to the corner because that doesn't make a bit of difference on the design. That is so cool. Thank you, Elisa. Okay. Bring these two in. Bring this one in. This is almost as slow as watching the paint fall off the cup. Now, nah, got my drip. Sorry about that. I'm as bad as... Never mind. I was going to say something, but... <laughs> I won't say anything. Let me just cover that up a little bit. Cover that up a little bit. Give it some paint to flow on. Okay, I need gloves because I know my hands are going to get messy in there. There they are. Wait a minute. Where's the other one? There it is on the floor. No, that's... Oh! I thought I had two, two more gloves out of the box, but I guess I didn't. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. I get notified in my email on that. Okay. Let me get this one on so I don't get more paint on my hands. My nails make it so hard to put gloves on. Elisa can can uh, understand this. Oh, that is so great. Uh, we have a very, very great art community. Okay, I'm going to spin it this way to see if it'll go this way a little bit more. I see some bare canvas. Okay, let me try, let me try the other way now. Now, Elisa, you tell me 
when to stop, okay? I don't know. It's not centered. It keeps going this way. I'm sorry, I gotta tilt it back that way just a little bit. See one more little dry spot. Okay, now. Well, I got more going this way. Okay, do you want me to keep going or do you like the negative space? Okay, let me try a couple more spins. I want to get it more this way. Spreading out a little bit better. Ah, it's almost to the edge. Haha, <laughs> that's what I wanted. May not get all the corners covered, but I did want it to go to the edge on all four sides. One more. Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get it off the edges. So, let me fix these sides just a little bit. I got little spots that have too much paint and little spots that have no paint. It's concerning the white, not the colors. go so what do you think of this one Elisa oh I see now <laughs> sorry wasn't really reading the chat like I should have okay let me okay up oh, I got a dry spot in it let me see Well, that's about as good as I'm going to get the sides. So let me pop the air bubbles. I am loving what this Rust-Oleum White Pearl does with the other paints. I am absolutely loving it. So let me see if torching brings up any cells. I use that Rust-Oleum in, um, in um, Jan's painting, too, and it gave it some wild, wild effects. So, I think next Sunday, I'm going to go back to Split Cups. Well, um, I have to look, hang on a second, I am having a hard time getting these gloves on. I'm going to have, what I'll do is, is I'll look it up, okay, the exact one, I'll send you a link, 
because I don't know if you can get it on Amazon. But I will just send you a link, probably to where I got it at, which is at Nards. <laughs> no one is slacking. That's right, Trey. <sighs> okay, give me a minute to get this glove on so I can bring it up for a close-up. Okay. Just look at the wild effects it does. That's the white that did that in there. That might be because the copper is an iridescent and a metallic. Trying. It's not, the paint's not moving. Don't think I'm tilting it, Elise. I'm just trying to get it to where it's not getting a glare on it. Yes, it, it thank you very much, Trey. Okay, now. I have another canvas. I don't know if anybody wants to stick around and watch me do a split cup with some of these colors. Let me move this little boy. So, if I get at least four people that say they want to watch a split cup, then I will do it. While I'm putting this away, I'll come back and look at the chat in a minute. So, does anybody want to stick around for a split cup? Okay, bye Angela. Okay, I see one split cup. I see Darnell says split cup, so, okay. And Gina says yes. <laughs> and you're just too sweet, um, Jan. I'm not going to stay on here live till midnight. I only got one more canvas ready, and then I have to, then I have to get back to um, doing the um, um, finishing of some paintings that I've been trying. Okay. I'm going to use this little split cup right here. I got a cup, I got a hooker's green that I did not use yet. So I'm going to use I'm going to use some hooker's green on one side. I'm just going to do four colors. And let me see here. Um, I have some um, iridescent bright gold that's not golden. Oh, that was... Oh, that was Prussian green. Never mind. That was Prussian green by Arteza. Okay. Yep, that's exactly where I got it at, too, Gina. Okay, so that wasn't um, hooker screen. That was Prussian. That's right. I only had uh, time to mix one more color last night, and I debated between Prussian green and hooker's green, and I went with the Prussian green. Okay. Let me see. No, I don't got enough of the rust oil even to put it in there. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try the magenta with this. 
Yes, that, that Prussian green is really pretty. Almost as pretty as my Prussian blue, which is my number one favorite color. Yep. Don't want to fill it all the way up to the top. You know what? Let me see if I got enough of it. Nope, that's phthalo. I think I've got enough of the Prussian blue. So, let's try the Prussian blue on the outside. I hope this one's thin enough. I gotta mix some more in it. Oh! <laughs> Stupid bottle. Bad manners. Oh, this bottle has no me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. This bottle has no manners whatsoever. Okay, okay. I can do that. I can do that. Okay, now... I'm going to do it very slowly while I'm turning the can canvas. Wait a minute. I got, don't want to. And I'm not going to do a ring pour. I'm going to do just like Fiona and Rodney King do. Rodney King, if you haven't checked him out yet, he has a small channel on YouTube, but he's also very big on Instagram. And he's the one that got Fiona started on this. So, if I don't talk, if I don't answer questions, it's because I'm not going to take my eye off of this. You want to go very slowly. Oh, there's my Prussian blue coming out. I'm not going to get the effects like Fiona does. I can see that already. This, is, this takes concentration because you don't want to pour too fast. You want to keep the cup level. Oh, there comes the rest of the Prussian blue. You want to keep the cup level. This magenta and this um, Prussian green almost look like Christmas colors. I don't know what they're showing up as on the camera. <sighs> I don't know if Tish would be able to handle one of these because this takes a steady hand and you got you got to hold your arm up in this position for a long time okay now I'm gonna try to do a couple of little jiggle rings I guess you could call it okay I want to save the last of it for the corners.
Now I'm trying to give it some flow extender around it. I'm just going to smooth that this paint out just to give it a wet just to give the canvas a wet surface for the rest of the paint. Okay, that's that's about it. And I learned my lesson the other day. Oh, thank you, Jan. Um, okay. Um, palette knife, little palette knife. Um, I learned a mistake I made the other day. Um, don't let one of these cups, after you've poured paint out of it, sit for overnight, okay? Because... It'll be very, very hard to clean the next day. And I did that with my last Halloween pour on Artapalooza. And it was hard to clean it out. Just want to get, well, I can get rid of this. Just want to give it a little place to slide across. And then I'm going to torch it real quick. this up. You gotta remember all these little colors that I'm mixing together will be covered up, hopefully, <laughs> with the rest of the paint. Okay. Yep, got my knife clean. Okay, now... I'm trying to read the chat. I need to stand up. I can't read it from back here. Oh, okay. I don't know how far this is going to stretch for the simple fact that, um, just dropped my, just dropped my, there it is. Oh, crap. I'm dropping everything today off this table. Always happens when I've got this on here. Okay, I uh, do not know how far it's going to travel out when I spin it. Because it is pretty thick and it is off-center, it looks like. So let me try to get some more of the paint over this way. Kind of looks like Fiona's in the center. Trying to figure out, um, I'm going to take a little bit of this Prussian green. And give it some more flow extender right here. Because it's not going over the sides.
Okay, let's see if that takes a design off the corner. Smooth it out just a little bit. Okay, that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, let's try to spin this one more time. Let's see. Oh, Derek! Hi! Hey, Derek! Did you make any paintings yet with the cups you won? He was lucky enough to win a couple of cups from me not too long ago. I'm loving what's going on in here. Just want to get just a little bit more of this over the corner. Almost. And then I will bring it in for a close up. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix the sides very carefully. Um, oh, great. Okay, so. Let me bring this up. I do not know how I got that much magenta in the middle. <laughs> I had an even amount on both sides. Oh, you sold quite a few. Um, do you do them on your channel, Derek, or do you do them on Instagram? I'm kind of liking these wild edges with um, where I did the little jiggle. Okay. Thanks, Jan. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Jan. Okay. I'm st I I'm loving these edges right here, though. Okay. I'm going to fix up the sides, but not on camera. Because it's going to take me a while to get it perfect. Thank you, Derek. I'm going to go look you up so I can see what you created. And I will follow you. Um, on Instagram, I know, I really should have everything cohesive, but on Instagram, I am uh, Doris Ford Designs, so you'll know it's me. So I will make sure, um, so everybody here, um, go follow him, DJ, DG Fluid Art, because um, I cannot wait to see what you do. So, I do want to thank everybody for coming out today. And putting up with my attempts. Because they don't turn out like Fiona's, but they're great in their own right. I'm going to say that much about them. And um, so um, I will do, um, I'm, I'm trying to think. Um, okay, next week I'm going to do more split cups. Um, later on this week, I will release to the public, although those of you who have the little memberships can go look at it now. I know some of you already looked at it. Um, 
So Jots, after this one, go over to the community tab and you'll see it, the link to it. Um, so I'm going to do a big 16 by 20 uh, split cup next week. Not guaranteeing I'm going to have a painting to give away next week. Yep, thank you, Gina. They are Doris Creations. Yep. Exactly. So, um, don't forget to check down in the uh, description for, um, I will update it right after I get off the live of, um, of every, uh, all the paints that I use, because I just left the whole hodgepodge down there. Thank you, Elisa. Text that to me, too. <laughs> Text that to me if you can, pretty please. Derek, we're all about, um, we're a big artist community. We support all artists, and I do not mind that um, Elisa, I hope that you don't mind that uh, Jots Designs, which is Elisa, put your, um, your uh, Instagram link up, so that way um, everybody here can um, um, follow you. I'm trying to get these covered somewhat good. Um, so join me Tuesday night for resin. Um, I do not know um, what I'm going to do yet. I might do some 3D roses, coasters. I might do a painting. And then next week, for my acrylic lovers, I will be doing a 16 by 20 um, split cup. So, join me then. Uh, Tuesday is uh, 6 p.m. Um, Central Time, um, which is um, 6, which is 1 a.m. Germany time, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> I always remind Mark about the time difference. Um, so, um, I will see everybody later, okay? And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Everybody that's new, welcome to the channel. Um, and I go live twice a week, acrylics on Sunday, Tuesdays is resin. And I do post some other, um, thank you, Elisa. Oh, thank you so much for being here, Petra. Um, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.